Here we can see Lily, who is doing a face-to-face -face lead test. Please note that the leader is not wearing a hat or gloves. They should be in the competition rules and will be marked down for not wearing them. Lily is doing some nice bends in and out of the five obstacles and is now heading towards the uprights. She needs to walk centrally through the uprights, which are set on a curve towards the barrels. Finding the centre line of the barrels, she then needs to do a circle to the right or to the left. You, she is going to be judged on the shape of the circle and, the, and keeping up the activity with the horse's paces. We're now heading towards the apple trees. Lily needs to halt centrally, pick up an apple with one hand and pop it in the bucket on the opposite side, still using the same hand. We are now approaching the road. She needs to walk centrally through the road and the leader must stay outside. If they have a sidewalker, the sidewalker should also stay outside. The horse's head in halt should not go beyond the line of the road. We're now approaching the bridle path sign and Lily has the option to either trot or to halt. She is going to halt here. It should be a dressage halt, square halt for six seconds. She is now walking over the pole. She should walk over centrally and head up towards the centre of the shrub markers. Having gone through the shrub markers centrally, she now needs to find the correct route to go over the bridge. She should, again must be in a central position. We now come to the three loop serpentine. The nice even loops around the scarecrow into a straight line, then a nice even loop around the sheep and up to and around the pond. We are now going to go along the road and the horse will need to show a really nice stretch down. With the reins gathered up and back in control by the end of the walkway. She will now turn with a parallel approach to the gate. Once she has opened the gate, the farmer will take control of the gate. Lily will turn half circle to come back safely through the gate. The farmer will hand her a letter and she will, which she will take to the post box. Um, on, as this is a training day, we only have one post box, um, which you can use yourself, just one post box, as long as the rider shows a definite approach to either one side or the other. Lily's now finished, so thank you, Lily. Here we have Zia. She's again riding the face-to-face -face test um, as an individual rider. The leader should be in the centre, roving fairly centrally with a lead rope to step in and help if necessary. It's nice, even sort of paces and quite a good active walk through the obstacles. It's now heading right the way down to the uprights and she'll have to go on the curve remaining in the centre round to the barrels for the circle. She wasn't in the centre um, of there. Please remember that the barrels do not have to be the central point of the circle. It's where you start is from the circle is done after that. Stopped at the apple trees. Ah, oh, 
the bucket went over, but the, but the apple did go in the bucket. I think we'll just put that down to gravity. Nice active walk up through the road and a good halt. Nicely round through the road and up to the bridle path. And I think she's going to trot. And yes, she is trotting over the pole, showing a slight forward seat and good transition into walk between the shrub markers. Sarah is now going to go centrally over the bridge and get lined up for the first of the three loop serpentine. note that our leader is remaining within good distance of Zia. Not much stretch shown, could be a little bit more, but heading up towards the gate. Please note she's doing it from the opposite side so that she can use the hand which is easier for her. Again, just turning a nice neat half circle to come round and through the gate. Now she'll be handed a letter and she must go to either one or the other side of the post box. Mm. Horse isn't quite sure about it. Mm. Here we go. Right, letter posted. Good pat for the pony and she's now finished on the course. Here we have Karen doing a virtual course, independent riding. We're showing this because he's quite a nice big chunky chap in quite a small arena. Um, I'm just trying to prove that it can be done. A really nice walk around the obstacles and heading up towards the uprights. We need to see the person, the rider, looking for the centre line. And if you look at this circle, Karen has used the centre between the two barrels and is doing quite a big circle, which is going to be easier for the horse and coming back again, lovely, right the way through the centre. She is now stopping in Laura's logs. A nice halt. Again, the judge will be looking for good transitions. And a nice halt. Nicely through. And we're now going to go through the maze. So you're coming in. Nice turn. Don't forget, it's a big horse, so make allowances for the track. There is no need to stop there. Just carry straight on round and head up to the bridal path sign. Karen is going to halt at this. Nice halt and then centrally over the pole. Centrally through the shrub markers at walk and looking for and taking the horse in the correct route over the bridge. starting with the first loop on the serpentine. Remember, they're nice even loops with straight lines in between the loops. Not a zigzag.
no stretching down shown at all, so you would probably lose marks there. She now has to stop and wait for the go sign. Once the go sign is up, the gate will be opened. The rider rides straight through and over the railway lines to finish.